floor to my partner Dan Horde, who leads our team coverage on UC's run in tonight's with the Blazers from Alabama, Birmingham. Hey, Dan. Horty, thanks very much. Cincinnati came into the game tonight with a 2-2 two and two record, having won their first conference game last week against East Carolina. UAB 2-1 and one overall, also 1-0 and oh in the league. This is a key game since both teams are hoping to get one of Conference USA's five bowl bids. Let's get you to the highlights tonight here from Nippert Stadium. Head coach Mark D'Antonio trying to improve to 2-0 and oh at Jimmy Nippert. But the Blazers got on the board first. In the first quarter, Nick Hayes made a pair of field goals. He had been 0 for 3 for the season coming in. He gave UAB a 6-0 lead. But Cincinnati counters with 145-pound kicker Kevin Lavelle, the longest field goal of his life prior to this, a 45-yarder. But that 49-yarder made it a 6-3 ball game. Later, Lavelle was given the opportunity to kick a 50-yard field goal, but this one was blocked, and UAB held on to its 6-3 lead. Following that block, the Blazers were able to get it cooking offensively. Their quarterback, Daryl Hackney, passed for nearly 400 yards last week. That's his first touchdown pass of the game tonight. It went to Roddy White, giving UAB a 13-3 lead. Then after Cincinnati got the ball back, Gino Gadulli tries to pass to freshman Ernest Jackson off his hands right into the midst of Will Evans. He gads. He goes the distance for a 30-yard touchdown, making it 20 to 3 at halftime. The Bearcats down by 17. They came out and dominated the third quarter. Gino throwing to Doug Jones. The redshirt freshman out of Dixie Heights scores his first collegiate touchdown. That made it 20 to 10. Then Gino strikes again, this time finding Hannibal Thomas. Somehow he catches the ball in traffic, breaks a couple of tackles, steps away from his own man, and goes 19 yards to score. Cincinnati cutting that 17 point deficit down to three but UAB answers Hackney hitting Cedric Hampton for a touchdown the Blazers up 30 to 20 with 15 seconds left in the game Gina Gadouli was able to throw another touchdown pass to Hannibal Thomas to make it a three-point game but the Bearcats could not recover the onside kick and UAB holds on to win 30 to 27 moments after the game Betsy Ross caught up with head coach Mark D'Antonio thanks coach Came back in that second half, just ran out of time. Well, we need to execute better in the fourth quarter. I thought that uh, obviously, uh, you know, the drive at the end of the game hurt us, and we were within three, and that that hurt us. But uh, uh, you know, we turned the ball over in the first half and didn't play real, real well defensively in the first half. But I thought our guys came out the second half and played much better, and uh, we got back in the game and made it competitive. But we need to be able to finish. But uh, I was proud of our guys' effort. Richard Hall played sparingly hurt. Uh, yeah, he got banged up at the halftime. He told me that he might not be able to hang on the ball. That's not too good. So we had a we uh, we went with the young players, and I thought Glathard, and uh, in particular, did a nice, very nice job. I thought he was he a big surprise. He's a tough, hard runner, and uh, he's a champion. So we just keep playing. On the road next week to Army. We got to win. You know, that's the day to the business. You know, you've got to win football games and, and execute, and not turn the ball over, and not giving big plays, but. Uh, you know, we just got to keep playing. It's disappointing because I think our guys have been prepared to play, but we need to execute better. Thank you, Coach. All right. Dan, back up to you. All right, Betsy, thank you very much. With the loss, the Bearcats fall to 2-3 and three overall, 1-1 one and one in Conference USA. Betsy mentioned the road game next week at Army. The Cadets had a 17-0 lead today against TCU, wound up losing 21-17. As a result, Army has a 19-game losing streak. The Bearcats will try to extend it to 20 next week at West Point. For more on tonight's game, be sure to tune in tomorrow morning at 11.30 for the Mark D'Antonio Show, exclusively on Fox 19. We'll break down the highlights. We'll hear from some key players and we'll have a very interesting story on the pizza boy turned bearcat kicker Kevin Lavelle you'll have to tune in tomorrow morning to hear more about that again tonight's final score UAB 30 Cincinnati 27 let's go back to Horty in the studio thank you Dan and happy birthday